In Logo 6, we've done a comprehensive analysis of the biblical vocabulary focused on verbs and how they relate to the words around them. We call it semantic relations. Semantic relations help you understand who performed the action of a verb, where it was performed, who it was performed on. And we've done that analysis for both the Greek and Hebrew vocabulary of the Bible. We've got an in-house team of, of scholars who are creating new resources. And we have a scanner that, that goes around to various theological libraries. And we're scanning thousands and thousands of research and material from, from years gone by. We are making all of that content available to you right within your Logos library. What's exciting about Everything Search is it's a kind of a high level view of all of your content and everything that you have in the application available to you. You may be searching something very broad and then we present you with all of these options and then you can dive deeper. We wanted the whole system to benefit from the individual insights of the users. We started making some features that are two-way conversations. Community Tags allows the entirety of the Logos user base to identify terms within their entire library. One feature I'm really excited about is propositional outlines. For example, the first chapter of Ephesians where Paul explains a variety of different subjects. Propositional outlines is a graphical labeling of that structure to indicate purpose, restatement, characterization, contrast, and all the different ways that phrases fit together to make up a longer argument. We have a new type of media that we're going to be rolling out with visual copy, and basically what it is is it's templates, and you can either copy from one of your resources or you can enter in a reference, and we take that and we render it to the slide in the style of the template. What the inline search does is it just adds a search box to the book that you're viewing right there. It just filters down the Bible text that you're reading down to just the verses that match. In the new textual variants section, we've tried to simplify and highlight the most important textual differences so you can key in on the ones that will really matter in preaching or teaching. We're really excited with the launch of six to roll out not just one new family of base packages, but a family for Reformed and Lutheran and Anglican and Baptist and a number of other denominations. We've got the Anchor Yale Bible Commentary, the UBS 5. We've also got the International Critical Commentary series as well. One of the features that, uh, that I actually use a lot is the label entry. And so I make a highlighting style called Command. And then when I select that text, it prompts me for, please fill in, who is issuing this command? Who is this command issued to? I can then say, okay, now I want to find all the commands where the issuer is Paul. We've made journals more useful than ever by organizing them by their passage or by their topic so they show up in the right place at the right time. One of the things that we did was we took some of our concepts, our fact book headings, and sent them out to the web and spidered through them and got what came back and picked, this is a really good image for this, this is a really good image for that, and left behind all the junk. We've got our ancient literature section, which helps situate the biblical text in its historical and cultural context. And our cultural ontology tool allows you to take the biblical text and trace it into other texts around the biblical time period. This is simply the most powerful tool for Bible study that exists.